Hey guys, my name's Joe, and today I'm going to be playing a little bit of Crusader Kings 2. So, I've actually been playing this a lot uh, in my free time, as you can see. Uh, but I want to start a new game for the channel. Um, before we get started, just want to let you know this is the pure vanilla version of the game. I don't have any of the DLCs for it. I know there's a lot of DLCs for this game that actually kind of make the game more deeper and a lot more fun, but uh, yeah, no, I'm, I, I've just been trying to get used to the, the vanilla game here before I even decide on getting any of the DLCs, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to obviously have to start in the high middle ages if I want the longest game possible, and I'm going to go ahead and do a custom game. Oh, and just so you know, I am actually playing it on very easy because I'm not too good at this game. Um, also, since, you know, the channel's called Bohemia Joe, I think I will play as the Duchy of Bohemia. So we're going to be playing as Duke Radislav of Bohemia. Uh huh. Alright, so let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, and if you want to see, we'll be part of the Holy Roman Empire. And I'm going to eventually try to, hopefully, gain some independence here. So, all right, without further ado, let's just get started. Ah, yes, and the rule set, I'm playing on all the normal rules. So, nothing out of the ordinary here. Let's get started. Okay, so I know all of this stuff. You are playing a Bohemian Catholic Duke. Alright, so Bohemian culture effects are nothing special. Uh, we're feudal government, and Catholicism is our main religion. Alright, let's go ahead and... The best way to see exactly where we are is by clicking the diplomatic relations tab over here because if we click the realms we'll actually just be shown as part of the Holy Roman Empire. So for the most part until I gain independence I'm gonna go ahead and be why is my defense so low? So I'm definitely gonna need to try to figure out what the best course of action is. Alright so here is my Council, sorry. Um, uh, Chancellor and Marshal could be better. Steward definitely could be better. I like my spy master. He's 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 an alright skill. He's pretty pretty good. And the chaplain, I can care less. So let's see if we can go ahead and find some new members. So let's search all of the realms uh, because this is medieval era, and we don't have, quite have equality of women yet. So we're gonna have to search for a man. They can be married, I don't care. Um, any diplomatic range, and willing to join my court. So, ooh, here we go. So, Paradog of Glamorgan is willing to join my my court, and he's got a 19 diplomacy skill, so let's just go. Ooh, let's see. He holds claims to Gwynedd. Okay, so let's invite him to court. He'll say yes. Let's see, Marshal. I'd invite him, but he's kind of old. But this guy right here, this guy, he's Portuguese. He's got 18 martial skill. Let's go ahead and invite him as well. As well as the steward. We kind of want a younger steward, so this guy right here. He'll do 17. Yes, and let's just check to see. Mm, yeah, no, it's not going to be that much better, so we'll just keep this guy here and like I said court chaplain don't really I could really care less okay. uh, nah, nah. let's see we can create one title which is the Duchy of Moravia uh, I don't want to do that quite yet and well before I start making any decisions let's just take a look at Duke Vratislav II of Bohemia we are married to a princess of Poland, so we probably have a non-aggression pact with them. Yep. 
We have, yep, non-aggression pact with them. Cool, so we have a diplomacy of four, which is kind of abysmal. High martial, 18. Stewardship, 11 is kind of like average. Five, intrigue, and eight, learning. Skilled tactician, he's going to be good on the whole raising troops. And we have an army levy of about 46, 4,700 troops. He is just, which is a great trait to have. Diligen is also great. Roth, not so much, but that also explains why his diplomacy and his intrigue are low. And he's also a greedy character. And he has a strong claim on the Duchy of Moravia. And our liege over here is the Kaiser Heinrich the Fourth of the Holy Roman Empire, and he actually kind of likes me. So. Over here is the Demet size, which is why I'm kind of like, kind of freaking out a little bit. This is rather low, only two. I think once we get my new steward in, it might go up a little bit because your stewardship uh, affects your ability or your Demet size and your vassal size, or the amount of vassals you're allowed to have. I believe it's one point for every five stewardship and your state sh stewardship also kind of affects it, as well as the, your um, spouse's stewardship. So, let's see. Uh, before we unpause time here, because time is frozen on September the 15th, 1066, let's see, we can press a weak claim for Hungary. So, this person here, Princess Arpad of Hungary, married to my brother, Count Oda, she has a claim on the Kingdom of Hungary. I don't want to press that claim because then we'll actually lose her. It's just a weak claim, but I think the reason why... Hang on, let's go ahead and see. Yeah, so it's a weak claim, but it can be pressed because the current king is a child. Weird, he's got a wife. <laughs> he's too young to actually have a wife. I'm, I'm guessing that should actually just be a betrothal. Weird. Okay, so let's see. New important decisions. Ask for help in managing your titles. I don't need that just yet. Uh, Demand's too big. Pick an ambition. Yeah, let's pick an ambition. And let's start with... Uh, become exalted amongst men. Paragon of virtue. Improve diplomacy. Improve intrigue. Become king of Bohemia. Amass wealth. Yeah, let's start with amassing wealth, because that'll actually give us a plus one to stewardship when we complete it. So, let's click on our realm here, so we can see what we've got going on. Idle council members, special minor titles, grantable. Here, let's go ahead and unfreeze time. As you can see, time is just going to go ticking along. This is our wealth, this is our prestige, which will be necessary for creating are declaring war and piety is for creating like kingdoms and stuff and also like how holy your character is this is how prestigious your character is obviously so to the great duke radislav blessings upon you and your house i accept your gracious invitation and will join your court forthwith all right awesome and same with this guy and i believe i'm waiting on one more dude also when these events pop up uh, time will automatically freeze for you, so you don't have to worry about things getting out of hand. Right, so, this is actually from our liege, Kaiser Heinrich IV. I have decided to institute a limited crown authority law in the Holy Roman Empire. Your status as my de jure vassal entitles you to vote on this matter. Alright, let's go ahead and approve the limited crown authority, because that'll actually kind of affect us, because we are a, a duchy in the... Holy Roman Empire. Waiting on one more guy, but while we wait, yep, there he is. All right, cool. Let's pause time. Let's appoint our new chancellor, Caradog. And what I'd like you to do right now is improve diplomatic relations with our liege. Um, new marshal will be Payo, Payo, Payo. All right, and Payo. I'm gonna actually have new troops over here in Prague. My new steward will be this guy, Guimar. 
and we are going to collect taxes in Prague because that'll be that is our capital. That is probably going to be our most um, affluent region. Uh, looks like our defense size is still too. Study technology. Let's send him down to Constantinople. That's always a good place to have your spy master if he's going to be studying technology. I don't have to worry about catching any of the plots going on. And my court chaplain, you can go talk to the Pope and tell him how awesome I am. Okay. We can grant minor, minor titles. So, designated regent. Usually you want that to be someone who likes you the best. Gshek looks like he likes us the best. So, Gshek, Bishop Gshek can become our designated regent. Master of the Horse, I'm actually going to want to give you Master of the Horse. Just to improve his relationship with me a little bit. Master of the Hunt can be my brother Oda, the Handsome. My High Almoner can be this guy, Bratislav, Cupbearer. Conrad of Brno, my other brother, and I believe he's my heir. We can take a look at that in a second. Yep, so all that should be good. Okay, so let's just take a look. So if Duke Vratislav II of Bohemia were to die, his brother Conrad of Brno, which is right here, would become the new Duke of Bohemia. And <laughs> funny that it's set up this way that if Conrad of Brno dies, Vratislav is actually his heir and he inherits uh, all of Conrad's land, which is Zamonio and Brno. So. Okay. Let's see. Important decisions available. Mm, is there any other titles that I can grant? No. Weird. Okay. Maybe that'll disappear in a minute. Okay. So actually, what I want to do is first start by unpausing time, see if that changes anything with our dimensions size. No. Okay. So we can actually also get rid of these notifications because we know that they're here. And because he's my heir, I'm gonna give you some more land. You can have products. Oop. Open council position. What happened to my chaplain? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, like I said, doesn't matter. You can go to the Pope and tell him how awesome I am. Also, I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you. Mm, yeah, let's give him both sloths. As well. Or. This place. Let's give him. Domicilse. Or however it's pronounced. I, I, I'm pretty decent at my, uh, my Czech pronunciations. What is happening? chaplains. Alright, I'm not gonna assign any more- oh! I think I understand what's happening. This dude, the Count of Olomots, you can have Voslav. Okay. So now I just have my two vassals. I have three regions, which will be Prague, Pilsen, and Light sheets. Something like that. Okay. So, we're, my vassals are rather comparable in strength. Having one uh, over Demence isn't too big of a deal. So, also, hurrah. You can go to the Pope instead. There you go. Go to Rome. Awesome. Ah, our regent left and our commander's left, for whatever reason. So, let's see. 
Conrad, since you love me so much and you're actually my heir, you can be my designated regent. My new high almoner can be Vonek. And I need some commanders as well. Vonek, you, and... However you say your name. Okay. And, let's see, the Duchy of Moravia, what will that take? Since it's within our... Like, uh, our dynasty, we can create the Duchy of Moravia. We have Haradets, Olomots, and Bernal. And it's just gonna cost us some money. 198.6 gold, so we, we need about a little more than 100 gold. And that'll give us some pretty good prestige. So, for the meantime, let's just let time tick along for a little bit to see what happens. declared war on King Philippe of France, and then I got something from my Chancellor. My liege, I have tried to make Mayor Hannes of Kutenberg realize what a benevolent and peaceful ruler you really are, but sinister forces at his court have been hard at work to discredit my every move and distort my every word. I'm afraid that in the end, as it seems to have done more harm than good. Alright. Well, then let's get you out of there. Ah, we can't move you till April the 9th, 1067, so you're going to be there for another five months, which is fine. Loving reinforcements. Since I came to Nassau, we have never had a shortage of soldiers reinforcing our troops. I, I think I actually might be uh, the Holy Roman Emperor's um, marshal. Oh, they know what fame and fortune awaits. Uh-oh. <laughs> Looks like the Pope has actually excommunicated our liege. That's that's funny. Okay. Ah, and massive recruitment drive in Prague. Let's see how many troops we have access to. Yeah, our um our army levies have dropped significantly since I gave away all that land, but I kinda had to. That's just what it is. Actually, let's take a look at the laws and see if we can... Centralization. Increase dement size plus one and vassal limit plus five. Let's see if we can get away with that. And three people are with me. And there's some voters who are undecided. I think I can see if I can sway some people by sending them a gift. 31 gold. I can afford that. I need at least five more people to join my cause. Let's see if my brother would really want to do that. Ooh, 57 or 52 gold. That's a bit much. Let's see if we can get cheaper. 17 gold. Okay. Yaroslav, let's see what you can do. That's 36. And 35. 19 gold. I'll send that gift. Anyone else? Awesome, that one. Let's... Let's see. Oh, okay. There's a rumor about an artist in the vicinity that creates the most magnificent landscape paintings with features of human nature. I need to have one of those in my possession. Lose 25 gold or beautiful paintings. Alas, I can't afford one. Right, let's, uh... Let's hold on to our money. We, I mean, we're bringing in 4.7 six gold per month, but we gotta save our money for more important matters. Let's see, I'm gonna unpause and see if that number changes. Let's increase the speed at which time goes by. So now we have five supporters. Oh, I can't afford you. 
Ah, I don't explain it. Alright, well. Eventually build the side. There we go. Lords of Bohemia have approved the institution of the low centralization law. So now I should. Okay. So now it's updated. I'm fine. So now all we have to do is save up our gold to be able to create the Duchy of Moravia. Once that happens, we'll actually be able to have access to create the Kingdom of Bohemia. Ah, and it actually, it looks like we'll be able to move our Chancellor. So actually, I'd like you to start by fabricating a claim over here and the, the county of Pozo. <laughs> uh, Pozzoni. Yeah, that's how it's pronounced. I'm gonna stick with that one. Okay, and we'll just let time tick along. It's actually owned by Hungary, and Hungary has about 4,000 men that they can call in. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to go get that right away, but if I uh, save up my money, I'll be able to afford to hire some mercenaries. Actually, kind of have comparable uh, troops. He, he'll probably have like a thousand. Um, difference. Let's see if we can form an alliance with our pal over there in Poland. And he'd be willing to. King Bolslaw the Bold is willing to create an alliance. Just wait for his response now. To the magnificent Duke Vratislav II, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. I, King Boslaw the Bold, accept your proposal for an alliance. Alright, so... If we ever get attacked, Poland will help out. Or we'll be at least be able to call them in. It's weird. I thought Poland would have had more... Yeah. <laughs> That's weird. Only those regions have good relations with me. Oh well. Alright, let's get time ticking along a little bit. The beginning for Bohemia is kind of slow. Ooh! We can invest in some technology. So let's see. We can do up some noble customs. So now our noble customs. We can, our feudal. Vassal of Bohemia is plus six now, so they like us a little bit better. What else could we do? Military advancements. We can pick any one of these, except for heavy infantry. Let's go with uh, light infantry, because that's going to be like the backbone of our armies to start. And economy. We can literally pick any of them. So let's go for castle infrastructures. It's going to... Castle tax is basically going to double, and we'll be able to unlock different buildings that we can upgrade in our castles. I'm happy with that. Let's have time tick along. Five times speed. The defensive pact opposing William de Normandy has been disbanded. Ooh, what happened over there? It, <laughs> he's got... Uh, let's see what uh, William of... Uh, uh, Norman has been doing. Because it's... Ah, so it looks like he was successful in something. He has land in Bedford, Middlesex, and Essex, and Suffolk. Northampton. So, in his attempt to kind of become the conqueror and king of England, he ended up just becoming Duke of Essex. Yeah, he's the Duke of Essex. So, not exactly what William the Conqueror set, uh, set out to do, but <laughs> that's what happens in Crusader Kings 2. Alright, get time ticking along some more. Bratislav asks, Daddy, where is Mom? Mom isn't... Ah! I must have had a previous wife. Yeah. My original wife died before... The game even started about six years ago. How old are you? You're ten. So, you probably have very vague memories of your mother. 
How sad. All right, he wants to know where mom is. Mom is an angel now. One of three options will happen. 50% chance that Bratislav gains the trait honest, and honest is monthly monthly piety. I'm sorry, plus one. Same trait opinion, plus five. Opposite trait, minus five. Uh, I guess the opposite trait would be greedy. Uh, there's a 30% chance that he gains humble, and humble... Or, no. Oh. I'm sorry. 50% chance of honesty. So, minus 2 to intrigue, plus 3 to diplomacy. And there's a 20% chance that he gets shy. Just diplomacy, minus 2, which is awful. Mom is gone. I could lie to him and tell him that Mom has gone along on a long journey, which will give him proud, or a 40% chance of diligent which is pretty good. It's plus one to basically all your stats. 40, also, 40% chance of patient. Patient is also pretty good. Intrigue, diplomacy, stewardship, learning, and defense plus 20. And 20% chance of crap, which is monthly prestige plus 0.5. And, or I could just tell him, don't ask me things like that, and he'll get a 50% chance of cynical, which is monthly piety minus 0.2 a month, plus 2 intrigue, and the church won't like us quite as much. Or they won't like him, Bratislav. 30% chance that he gets deceitful, which is going to be intrigue plus 3, but diplomacy minus 2, and 20% chance of diligent. We could just, you know, see what happens if we tell him that mom has gone on a journey. Equal chances of him gaining patience I don't know why the computer does this. I am so sorry. <laughs> Alright, so equal chances of him either gaining diligent or patient, and 20% chance that he's just gonna get proud, which isn't too bad. So let's just tell him Mom has gone on a long journey. And Bratislav seems to work so hard when he needs something done, he has gained the diligent trait, which is excellent. We can even go back, find Bratislav and confirm that he's gained diligent which is the was the ideal result that I wanted excellent I mean for a 10 year old his stats are okay he's got pretty good learning for a 10 year old but let's see ah, I also got some information from my spy master my liege the people of Constantinople have progressed beyond our own technological level I have managed to study their advancements and the documents enclosed here should help us reach their level I hope you will find this to your satisfaction. Wonderful. So one of three things could happen. Equal chances of 50 military tech points, economic tech points, or cultural tech points. Let's actually go ahead and see what jumps up by 50 points here. Ah, culture. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here. So majesty, monthly prestige, gain and short rain years will be deducted by one. So, if you don't know, short rain is what happens when you get a new new leader and there'll be like a debuff on people's opinion of that character just because they're a new, a new ruler and that'll shorten that by one year. So Majesty, we could go for Tolerance, we could go for uh, Legalism. Legalism is something that we're going to want to buff up. Religious customs, temple vassal opinion up. Popular customs, city vassal opinion up. Or noble customs, we can't even do just yet. So let's go ahead and do majesty. I think that's the most helpful for right now. And we also have a notification here that says, One child lacks a guardian. So, both law, premise lit. You can get a new guardian. And let's see. I actually... He's only six, so it's hard to tell exactly how he's going to be. So I'm going to, let's see. Hmm. You know what? Let's let, you know what? We can take care of that. I'll be your guardian. Okay. All right. 
Uh, and we're getting pretty close to being able to afford the Duchy of Moravia. So let's just go ahead and let time tick along and the war against France is just taking care of itself. And that's just Kaiser Heinrich just creating some duchies and stuff. And it looks like we just won the war. I fear my son Boslav is too cynical for his age. He's clear-sighted. He's guaranteed to gain the trait cynical, which is entry plus two. Okay. And nothing the strap won't cure. <laughs> he loses he's guaranteed to lose the trait cynical. Hmm. Well, let's see what he's got so far. Okay, so he definitely has Cynical right now. Do we want him to keep it or not? Well, you know what? Let's, let's let Boslov keep it. He can stay Cynical. And it looks like this kiddo right here needs a new Guardian as well. Let's, uh... You know what? Let's give him a Learning Guardian, since that's his best stat. And Haral, Bishop of that region, can be his guardian. Woohoo! Okay. Ah, and we can afford the to create the Duchy of Moravia now. So let's go ahead and create the Duchy of Moravia. Cool, cool, cool. So now we're both the Duke of Bohemia and the Duke of Moravia, which also unlocks the ability to create two kingdoms: the Kingdom of Bohemia which will need 200 piety and 390 gold. And we can also create the titular kingdom of Greater Moravia, which also 200 piety but no gold. Now I think the reason why uh, the titular kingdom of Great Moravia is costs no gold is because it's a, purely just a title. There's no... Oh, actually, no. It'll cost me seven. But never mind. It'll cost me 781 gold to do. So let's <laughs> let's hold off on that one. But if we if we create the kingdom of Bohemia, we'll gain all of the benefits that go along with it. Yep. And huh? cool. Let's just let time to come on. Got any reinforcements since I came to pass out? Um, to your leash. Another child lacks a guardian. Your stats are, uh, you're just six. You don't know anything about me, so let's assign you a decent stewardship. Yeah, my steward can take care of you. And also, let's see, back is dead. You are married. You actually still need a spouse. So let's actually get you a spouse. And we can also search to see if we got any geniuses. No geniuses want to marry you. What about cool. That's kind of a long way for you. What about trying? Still a long way. Strong? No one who's strong wants to marry you. So let's just see if we can... Let's see if we can get someone who's decent for you. Um, hmm. Let's check out the steward, the ones with this best stewardship. Mm -hmm. I mean, she'd be all right. And she's got a, she's also got a claim and this will come with, ooh. She actually has a claim to the Kingdom of France, that's kind of funny. And we get a non-aggression pact with Robert of Essex. What about diplomatic women in treaty? There's really no one to... no one that really stands out when you have a claim Oh, I've looked at you already. Um, let's just let's just marry this this girl. We'll get uh, 
an uh, aggression pact with the Count Aragus of Castello Branco. She's willing to do it, and no need to make it matrilineal. All of their children will be from our dynasty. that they're, they're now married. We don't really like each other too much. My son Boslov has was bitten by a snake this morning. The brave little fool keeps seeking out danger. You could say, that's my lad. He gains plus one martial and gains the trait brave, which is also great because it's another plus two martial. Or we could say, praise his bravery to everyone. He still gains the one martial, but he doesn't gain brave. Bishop Horal doesn't really like it, because he becomes envious and he gains 5 prestige, or we can teach him to temper his courage, which is a 50% chance of Craven. Craven is awful, it's minus 2 martial, and 40% chance of Brave, and 10% chance of Novak. Let's just say, that's my lad, Brave. Having Brave people is not that bad of an idea. Kaiser Heinrich of the Holy Roman Empire has formed an alliance with King that guy of Hungary, so darn okay. Well, there goes that plan of taking that region right there. Okay. Well, what I can do is see if I can fabricate a different thing up here in Let's see if we can take Staten over here. Just let time tick along. It's just a bit of a waiting game. A rumor about a spy sneaking around in my own castle was confirmed this morning when I caught him red-handed. I'm not concerned. Just gain ten piety. Behead him. Gain plus two more. Uh, Marshall because he gets the trait ruthless until the 18th of March. Or we could, I could kill him with my bare hands and get the trait strong until March 18th. Or carve out his eyes because I have the wrath trait. And he gets cruel and plus two trait. Now let's let's behead him and get more Marshall because Marshall actually affects your your army levy size. This kid, my nephew here is old enough, he's become of age, and he's become a scholarly theologian. Now let's see if we can get him oh, He's awful. <laughs> he, he's not good at anything but learning, and even that's kind of crap. Let's see if we can get any geniuses. No, that was, it, it was worth a try. What about quick plan? No. Strong? Stall strong. Nope. What about a tracker? Nope. Alright, let's see. Actually, we can gain the system here. Find character, find women. Not married. We want to join the court. See if we can find any geniuses. No. Quick. No. Strong. No. A tracker. Nope. Alright. Never mind. But let's see if we can bring in a basic character here anyway. This girl's not bad. So she is orthodox. She's a naive a pleaser. She's ambitious, humble, paranoid, chaste, and deceitful. I definitely like to see if I can get that ambitious trait going in the family, so I will invite her to court. Svanislava. Invite her to court. And let her come to court. Let's give it some time, waiting for the response. Yes, 
Slava would gain 55 prestige from marrying a house or marrying into the house previously, and 300 from marrying a relative of a duke. So this is a really good deal for her. She's a little bit older than him, but it's all it's not by much. Four years. Alright. And one child lacks a guardian guardian, Vratislav. Let's assign guardian. And let's make it me. I'm by far the best person to take care of these kiddos here. Just a reminder, we need about 390 gold and 200 piety, so we're quite a ways away from creating the Kingdom of Bohemia here. Get time ticking along. I had to break up a fight between my son Vratislav and another child today. Vratislav's heart is filled with envy. The other children are just selfish. He gains the trait Envious, which will give him plus two intrigue, but minus one diplomacy and liege opinion minus 15 so i'll like him less because he's envious beat some respect into him 40 percent chance that he loses the trait envious which doesn't seem very helpful talk to him about kindness he could either become kind 50 percent chance 40 percent he loses envious and 10 percent chance of no effect so it's a 90 percent chance that he's well yeah, I, I feel like kind and envious are opposite of each other. Yeah, minus two intrigue, but plus two to diplomacy. Hmm. Or envious, the deadliest of sins. Gains five piety, 80% chance, no effect, and 20% chance that he loses envious. Let's see. Let's talk to him about kindness and see what happens. And it looks like nothing happened. You were... Radoslav, right? No. Volslav? No. Radoslav. Maybe it wasn't one of my kids. I don't know. Wait, let's see. My wards are uh, this guy and this guy. Brave and cynical. And... Oh. Okay. I guess he didn't gain envious. Well, that's all that matters. <laughs> that's all I care about. Oh, and we have the domain size of four now. So, since I came to Nassau, we have never had a... Uh, okay, cool. A man claiming to be a lord who disappeared seven years ago has found his way to my castle. He sings of the fair queen of Elfland. And some say his songs are prophetic. Long lost, but home again. He, Radis, Radislav II gains kind. We don't have kind. And kind will be minus two intrigue, plus two diplomacy. We could always use that diplomacy buff. Our vassals will like us better. I could say he's just an old drunk and lose ten prestige, but gain one marshal. But I can only say that because I have the Roth trait. And he's finally found his way home then. Just appears in the court. <laughs> There's actually an argument for more Marshall, but I, I actually kind of need I need some more uh, diplomacy going on. Then again, that'll just lower my intrigue too. So let's just say he's an old drunk. Throw him out. So now we have 19 Marshall. Trindita is now of legal age. Let's see if we can actually get her matrilineally married. And genius. There is a genius here. Okay. And he's be willing to marry her too. He is from Serbia. So he's a charismatic negotiator. He's a genius. He's a hunter. He's cruel. He's content, he's proud, he's zealous. Yeah, he doesn't really like me too much, but that doesn't matter. Let's bring him in. And his relative of the king, Jupiter, would gain two prestige, just two. And marry me to the house, and zero from marrying So, yeah, sweet. 
he's willing to do it. We get a genius in. Maybe she'll have a couple genius kids herself. She's probably on that genius gene. The more genius the children the better, because then we'll have better, better potential leaders. Awesome. So, from our Chancellor, my liege, my work in... That's Stetton. Steams to have come to fruition. My bribing, cajoling, extorting, threatening, and forging documents. I have managed to fabricate a claim on the county of Stetton, present, presently held by Chief That Dude. I leave it up to you whether to use it or not. Let's go ahead and use it. That'll cost us 91 gold and 100 prestige, but we'll actually have a strong claim on that region. Let's use it. And let's see. So. This guy, he can only field about 600 troops, but we can't declare war directly on him because he's not independent, so we're going to have to go up one step to the High Chief of Pomerania. He can only do 1,000, so that's about 1,500 if everyone gets involved. But he's also not independent, so we're going to actually need to go to the King of Pomerania, which is... 400, or not 400, 4,000 troops. That might be a bit of a tall order because we've got only 3,600. Alright, so let's save up for some mercenaries. And in the meantime, what I can actually have you do is see if we can improve diplomatic relations with the Kaiser. Go back to Nassau. Okay. So... Now we have that strong claim on this county. Will not be inherited unless pressed in war, because it's obviously a fake claim. Yep. Awesome. Actually, oh, we're at war. I didn't even realize it. <laughs> the Holy Roman Emperor's just doing his thing. Just keep time ticking along. I could strive to become better, or I could be satisfied with who I am and what I have. I'll never be satisfied. We gain, gain the trait ambitious. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Or we could gain content. No, we're going for 45% chance of ambitious. Yes. And confirmed we have ambitious. Ambitious. So that gives us 6 diplomacy, 21 martial, which is excellent. 13 stewardship. 7 Intrigue and 10 Learning. Awesome! We're starting to really round out as a character here. Oh, duh. And we're still working on, I forgot, trying to amass a wealth. Actually, let's see if we can revoke some titles here so we can actually get a little bit more going on. I want to... you actually have four regions. I have three. I don't want you to have more, so I'll take this back. Revoke the county for 50 prestige. We'll lower his opinion of me by 60 and other vassals by 15. Is it worth it though? Yeah, I think it's kind of worth it because he's not quite as good of a leader as Boleslaw is. Or not Boleslaw, Radislav. Yeah, let's revoke your title. See if it even want. Oh. Oh, I can't because the Holy Roman Empire doesn't allow revocation. Darn. Okay. Oh well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I should have thought of that before I did that. Oh well. And fate smiles upon me. My wife, Svetoslava, is pregnant. Excellent. Plus five prestige. My mission to Nassau has so far been a success. During my visit to the court of Kaiser Heinrich the Noble, I seem to have managed to make him understand what a benevolent and peaceful ruler you really are, and he sends his regards. Perfect. Looks like the defensive pact has been disbanded, but it doesn't affect me. My son Boslav is turning into an arrogant little braggart. I might have to rein him in a bit. So, no, he has reasons to be proud. He's guaranteed to gain the trait of proud, and he's happy with his upbringing. Proud would be just half of a prestige point a month. That will be cured by the birch. We can beat it out of him, or attempt to. 60% chance that there's no effect and he doesn't gain proud, or 40% chance that he does gain proud. 
Galheim Pride goeth before the fall. 50% chance of humble. Just as a reminder, humble is piety. Or say, the Lord will cure him of his sin. I'll gain five of piety. And there's an 80% chance of wealth. You know what? Let him be proud. That's totally fine. That's not gonna hurt him. Vraslav is impulsive, it seems. Or no, Vladislav. <laughs> Misreading all these names is impulsive and seems unable to tell right from wrong. What should I do with my wayward son? How about a pat on the head? He gains arbitrary. Arbitrary is plus one intrigue, minus two to stewardship and learning, and it's strapped for him. He loses arbitrary. Yeah, I don't really want him to have arbitrary because that hurts your stewardship, and your stewardship is only one anyway. So. My chancellor's just letting me know that uh, things are going st good over there in Nassau. My liege. A daughter was born. Ah, okay, so. Zdenka. Okay. Hello, Zdenka. And the daughter was born to this guy and Judita. Ah! Sweet, let's see. Is she a genius? No, she didn't get the genius trait. Yeah, she didn't. she's not a genius, but oh well. <coughs> and then she died of pneumonia. Lovely. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get this guy remarried then. Preferably someone in my court. Matrilineal, no one in my court is able to marry him. What about a betrothal then? I mean, he's 40. Matrilineal betrothal. This girl. This girl. Yeah. A couple more years and we'll see. So, yep. Okay, a book without a title was pushed into my hands by a hooded man clad in midnight blue. Something was said, but was lost in the confusion. The book was still there. Say, hey, wait. Gain 20 prestige. Intense study of the book will follow, or it wants me to read it. And gets a trait illumination, giving the following effects extra prestige and writing roughly. So let's let's get illumination. And Bratislav is of legal age now, and he's a brilliant strategist. He's my son. Let's see if we can get him. Smart lady. Genius. No, she's too she's too young. I don't even have to make her wait just have children like that. Quick. Still too young. Attractive. Still too young. Strong. Yeah, early game, it's kinda hard to find decent people with really good traits, so let's just uh Hmm. I could always betroth him to this girl right here, but she's not too great. This girl's not so bad. Cecilia of Essex, daughter of uh, William of Normandy. Or, yeah, related to Duke Robert of Essex. So let's see, she's a thrifty clerk. Uh, she's proud, she's ambitious, she's wrathful. Yeah, let's bring her in. Actually, I want to see. Yeah. Essex, East Anglia, and England. That she has claims to those. She has claimed a strong, probably inheritable claim to the Kingdom of Anglia, England. So yeah, let's bring her in. Nice Slav is now. Like, yep. Okay. And that's just the confirmation from. Oh. Yeah. This guy confirming the betrothal between my daughter and this dude. The church wants to organize a miracle play for a local saint in our demence. They seem to feel that it should fall on our shoulders to pay for it. We could say, sure, let's pay for it and spend the 16 gold to get 10 piety. Or if the church wants it, the church will pay for it. This guy, he doesn't really... Uh, yeah, I don't know if I want to... I mean... Who even are you, really? I mean, he's my vassal. 
Yeah, no, if you want it, you can pay for it, buddy. And another confirmation for marriage. So Robert of Essex confirmed the marriage. All right. Get cracking, you two. <laughs> Unlanded sons. My liege, people of Constantinople. Aha. Our first righteous imprisonment notification of the game. So, try to imprison the army or premise lit. We have a 70% chance of success based on our relative state intrigue. If we fail, he'll... Wait. Yeah, if we fail, he might declare war on us and f or flee to another court. Since we have evidence that Yarmir is the leader of a plot, no one will object. What are you trying to do? Let's check intrigue and plots. Yarmir wants to kill my our brother Conrad. Um, yeah, no. Let's see if we can get you to end your plot. Yeah, you're willing to end your plot. I don't feel like having to throw you in jail. I mean, no, because I won't be able to take Boslav and Olomutz back from him. So let's see if we can get him to end his plot. Oh, and more continuation of the mysterious book. The book is gibberish, but also enlightening. But even if I struggle with some chapters, it is its mystery still engrosses me. Something is concealed in the book's language, and I'm determined to find out what. So the secret will soon be mine. Mwahahaha. <laughs> cough, cough. Uh, or I could say, the book's secrets eludes me. Study thoroughly, or intense study. What's the difference? Uh, so let's just go for the goofy, like, awkwardly evil <laughs> option here. And, dear brother, may you live in harmony and contentment. Your demand is just. My scheming was obviously misdirected. I hope you'll find it in you to forgive me. Alright, so, we got him to stand down. The secret within the book still eludes me after several weeks of intense study. Wasted time and wasted ink. The man couldn't be anything but a maniac, filling precious parchment with a malarkey and incomprehensible symbols. I have learned to love books instead. And I gained the trait scholar, which is plus three learning. Awesome. So before we deal with this, let's take a look at our stats. So we got six diplomacy. 21 Marshall, 13 Stewardship, 7 Intrigue, and 13 Learning. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Alright, Boslav was curious about the visitors, but was polite enough to wait until the, in, until the Chamberlain had escorted them to their rooms before he started asking thousands of questions about them, where they came from, why they look so different, and who they were. Wait until the banquet, then I will introduce you to them, giving him Gregarious, and Gregarious is pretty great. That's just, just flat plus two diplomacy, or I can tell him to stop asking questions. Children should be seen and not heard, and he gains shy. We don't want him to gain shy, because that's awful. There's nothing wrong with Gregarious. Let's just check in over here and Pomerania. He's got 4.5 thousand troops. I mean, his personal levies are about comparable to mine, but he could always pull in his levy from vassals, and he's got about the same amount of wealth as me, too. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just, I'm looking for a right time to go in and claim just... For the sake of argument, let's just see. What's an affordable bunch of mercenaries we can bring in? So this will be 150 and then 11 per month. And that will give me a total of 1,600 troops. Alright, that's reasonably doable. Yeah. Ooh. This is a little bit more expensive off the top but just as expensive, or pretty comparably expensive. Just one extra gold a month, we'll get almost uh, 150% more troops. 50% more men. Let's go for it then. Alright, so let's go ahead and see if we can declare war on you. Declare war. Please. And actually, Poland's gonna... 
have the option of asking them to come help me out. Slow down time, just in case. So I'm a f I can call in my allies. That's okay. Let's bring in my personal army here, as well as those mercenaries. Where were you? Oh boy, where'd they go? Here they are. Here. They will arrive in or nearby Prague, so right here. Okay, so let's get time ticking away. These guys will come in, we're gonna rally up to Prague, and then march up to Stettin. So yeah, they, they've got pretty, pretty sizable forces here. So, alright, let's go ahead and merge those together. Let's see. I want you front and center. Chronic and Oda. Mm, is that the best that I can do here? Yeah, that's that's about as good as it gets. So my brother here will be leading troops on on one of our flanks. So let's go ahead and see. Let's march up to Stettin. See what we can do here. They'll, if they hang out here, they're just letting me know that uh, Kaiser is still happy with me. I mean, we definitely have the men to be able to beat them back. Looks like they might be coming in. Where are you going? Where are you going? You're going to Brandenburg. You're going to Brandenburg. Alright, so if we hang out here in Brandenburg, we'll be able to beat them back. Yarmir had a daughter. So she's got nothing special going on, and there's another registered prisoner. This dude over here, my nephew, made a plot. What are you doing over here? You, wanna, you also want to kill Conrad. No, 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 and your plot. Here's going to be our first battle. And he's just saying, oh, forgive me, I didn't mean it. There should be no reason why we lose this, but they actually seem like they have the advantage of the action. When I think about it, let's see if we can... Hold on, before we call up Poland, let's... See how this turns out. Looks like they've got more men coming up as well. Since I came to Nassau, great. Yeah, looks like we are gonna lose this fight here. So let's before we call up Poland, let's bring in our vassal levies, which aren't much. Prague and yeah, Poland will definitely come and bring six thousand men. in Burnout, since that's where we're retreating to. Mm, it's not looking so good now. <laughs> Suffering defeats here. Ooh, did that... Oh, oh, I was about to say... <laughs> I thought they swept up my entire forces here. It looks like they're going to try to besiege Prague. No, everyone just continue going to Brano. Yeah, we're getting our asses handed to us here. And those mercenaries are going to be gone in a few months. So I've got to try something here. That's one of these ways to run. Please come help me out here. Of course, I will honor my obligation and answer your call. Oh, sweet. Poland is coming to help. Let's just hope it's not too late. 
they, they're going to have the defender's advantage here too, so we're probably going to lose this battle of Gutenberg. Go do that as well. Anything. Uh, ah, that's what happened. The dude who was in the middle got captured, probably, or killed, or something. I don't know. So. Yeah, we're besieging. Or they, they were. I don't know what they're doing. My son, Boslav, makes sure everyone gets exactly the same amount of whatever sweets and the cook gives the children. I'm proud of him for being just. Just is good. Let's give him just. Okay. I think if I had land, it'd be so much better. Let's see if we can try to convince Bratislav is bitten by a snake. Yep, let's make him brave. Another defeat over here in Prague. I don't know if, if we can do anything about this, but okay. Let's uh, attach. Let's, we can't assault, can, oh, we can't order the siege, because I guess, uh, Boslaw's in charge here, so, hang on. Cool. <laughs> uh, probably gonna lose this war. Very likely that we're gonna lose this war. think what else I can do to speed the process up here. So, uh, actually, no, let's, let's stay. That makes a slight difference. favor. We might lose this war and uh, lose the uh, lose the claim on uh, stepping up here. Is there anything I can do with it? Another crushing defeat. But it looks like they're on the move here. 93%. We're gonna have those mercenaries for maybe like another month or so. Actually, we don't really need the mercenaries anymore, come to think of it. So we can dismiss those dudes. There's a dangerous faction. They want Galvakine succession in Bohemia. They have 95% of our troops, or our strength. And who is this? Oda.
She's in prison. This is not good. Your righteous struggle against the heathens has not gone unnoticed. I have dispatched a papal emissary with sufficient funds to assist you. Ave Maria. Thank you, Pope. Thank you, your popiness. Let's, uh... See if we can hire some some mercenaries because of it. So looking for a nice cheap hire here. That will be sixteen hundred troops. And you can march down to Prague and help out. Pope really uh helped us out there. At least it'll help us with trying to take back stuff in Prague. Hopefully it's not too late. It's probably too late. What are you doing, Poland? Why are you leaving? Come on. Alright, 98% here. I'm gonna attempt to assault in 10 more days. Gotta try and assault here. There's a defeat. They're at a hundred percent war score, but we just took some back here. Attempt another assault. Victory. Two days. Assault. Victory. Alright, that saves us some time here. And let's just chill out because they'll be losing. 15% morale every 12 days. And we're losing 24% every 12 days. So both regions will fall around the same time. So let's actually just screw it a little bit at the time. There's a defeat and a victory. Alright, so let's march over here. Let's see if we can take on Pomeranian forces. About equal amounts of men. And it looks like we are winning this one here. There's some pursuit tactics going on on the uh, flanks. And there we go. Everything's falling apart. That was the victory we needed. Perfect. Alright, so... Let's hang out here and retake our lands. Order this off. Easy. My liege, I write to you with bad news from Prague. My efforts to squeeze some extra taxes out of the population have met with resistance, and the peasants are attempting or arming themselves. I fear we might have a revolt on our hands here soon. Alright, so let's actually get our marshal to suppress revolt here in time. Vladislav's heart is filled with envy. I don't want him to be envious. That's kind of a negative trait as far as diplomacy is concerned. But kindness. You know what? Let's make him envious. Why, why not? Why the hell not? This is it. They're still retreating. They're going to splunts. Anybody, we're gonna go ahead and kick 
this mess. Wait, what happened to all the troops? <laughs> the alliance and non-aggression pact between... Oh, that doesn't affect me. Low priority messages. Yeah. This doesn't affect me, really. Did we really have that many troops, or did we lose troops? Weird. Yeah, we still have our high troops, we've got our vassals, we've got our advanced troops. Actually... Oh. Before we do that... Come in. No, we can't use any more of these. That won't help. There we go, okay. This guy's just gonna get messed up here. Okay, word stood against word. Farmers against a courtiers about damage caused to the farmer's house by a cow owned by the courtier. The farmer's obviously lying, or the farmer should be compensated. Yeah, the farmer should be compensated. That's the courtier's fault. He's not happy with the decision, though. He should just pay for the for the reparations. And we've been defeated here. This guy thinks he'd be a better court chaplain. Sure, you're my court chaplain. And you can just go ahead to the Pope and let him know how awesome I am. Maybe he'll send me more money. I can't besiege that place unless you're there with me. That's why it looked like we didn't have enough. I guess Bols or whatever your name is, Bolslaw, detached from me, so I'll attach to him. Okay, just adopt the marshal's ideas. It's only six days. The enemy is still there. What's going on here? I don't understand why I'm having so much trouble here. Are you coming to support me? Wonderful. Come on, Roland, help me out here. Should honestly just give up this war because it's just yeah that's over. Bohemian claim war has ended and we lost. And he's accepted my offer for peace. He gave me no choice. So Bratislav was cornered and slain by the enemy on the battlefield. He fought bravely right until the end. Alas. Take you down. To Vraslav from Captain Leofwald. Uh, oh, they're just telling me that they can't 
fight for me anymore because I ran out of money. Yeah, I lost a lot of money because of that war. I'm just gonna have to break up the party. This army once they're finished their shattered retreat. My son Vladislav is turning into an arrogant little braggart. I might have to rein him in a bit. No, let him be proud. Yep, we're running a deficit here now. Dangerous factions. Powerful factions in my realm. They want capital in succession. Yep. More mercenaries are gone. Expand because we're in friendly territory. Yep. Okay. So I was still happy with me. How's my relationship with the Emperor? 99. He loves me. And what do I think of him? 44. He's, I, I'm alright with him. Let's see what Heinrich has to say. Alright. Uh, just want to be the guardian of Vladislav? Sure. Why not? One less thing I have to worry about here. <laughs> but, you know what? I, I feel like this part has gone on long enough. <laughs> We're off the rails on this one, kiddos. <laughs> um, this might come back. I don't know, depending on how well it does. Um, but until next time, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.